Julianne Lacey is active in her Algebra One class. She remembers her own time as a student and teaches in a way that would have interested that younger version of herself and her current crop of Collierville High students. It's very important to me. Teaching is my passion. I wanted to be a teacher ever since I was a little girl. So I come here every day and um, try to do my best. That type of passion is evident all around Collierville High, especially in the school's math department. It's tops in the county and rivals many of the nation's best. In AP Calculus, Collierville has one of the highest enrollments in the U.S. and those advanced students have tested in the top 10 percent nationally. And we have some very bright, very outstanding students that are going to do well in math and college and beyond and those students are very challenged as well. 88 is another popular number here. That's the percentage of Collierville's Algebra 2 students who have scored proficient or advanced. By far the best in Shelby County schools, much of the credit goes to an impressive staff of teachers. The teachers at the school are dedicated, outstanding professionals that provide the help the students need in order to make sure they understand the material. Definitely all of the teachers. They're all just so dedicated to what they do and they do it really well. I would be totally lost without all the teachers that are committed. And that, it's been the same way in uh, pre-cal, Algebra 2. It's, it's tough stuff. If you could see some of the math problems, it looks more like uh, Greek. And by translating that Greek, these teachers have helped their students win over $33,000 in scholarships the last two years. We all provide enrichment opportunities in our classroom. We, we want to not only have our students, you know, meet the minimum requirements of the class, but we expect them to go above and beyond. Helping them see that they can learn it. They can learn it because we're going to break it down into small steps and they can learn the small steps and by learning the small steps they can move on to the, to the larger steps. Teachers and administrators have high expectations for these students and they strive to keep that bar high. We provide the support um, and, and guidance necessary for the students to grow, um, but we don't lower those expectations. And oftentimes it makes students struggle, it makes them not like math so much, um, but what we find is they come out having learned so much because we have, we have helped them through that process. But the adults are just part of the equation. This math department also benefits from students who are passionate about academics. In fact, a Collierville student has been named the region's best in Algebra 2 the past two years. Like, I remember in middle school, like, math classes, the questions would be way too easy and it wouldn't be, like, fun to work out anything. But, like, here in this school, we have challenging math problems that can actually uh, like help me think about new ways to solve problems. I'm looking into being an engineer and this is a really good start. I'm gonna be very prepared. And that last sentiment is what teachers and administrators talk about as well. Doing well in math now so you can do even better in a career. They have a goal to go to college, they have a goal for their career um, and because of that they know that this is a stepping stone. If you take time now to learn the material, take time now to dedicate yourself to being a good student, that's going to have dividends that pay off when you get your career. For Shelby County Schools Report, I'm Ted Beasley.